I love that it incorporates all of the planes of motion. So mm -hmm. we kind of talked about we're as being as uh, fitness instructors, we are mm -hmm. proponents of incorporating all planes of motion when we're working out. So we want to work the, tra the frontal, which if you were to put the shorty club mm -hmm. in the front and behind, that's the plane you'd be working in. So that was really like your side lunges. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh -huh. And then if you wanted to take the shorty club on the right and the left, it's the sagittal plane. So that's going to be lunges, you know, yeah, everything great. moving forward mm -hmm. and back. And then take the shorty club, cut your body right in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's your transverse. And that's more rotational. So I love that this program incorporates all the planes of motion. We're working on coordination, stability, mobility, flexibility. Yeah, right. Strength exactly. Training. Great explanation. Absolutely. Yeah, um, just tuck your shorty club underneath just so it's out sure. of the way. And we'll focus a little bit on the lower body first. Okay. All right. So from here, you're going to stand behind your slope and we're going to do a basic lunge. So you just want to make sure your toe and your knee track over your hip and then you're going to balance on those back toes, push off. So you're going to see, Ashley, when you do this, this is a little different than doing a lunge on the floor, but because of the curvature, your foot kind of places at a different angle yeah. right here. So you want to push off. So um, this is great for your lower body. So here's your plane that's going this way. Sagittal plane. <laughs> and actually, right. side note, sagittal plane is the most worked out plane. So if you go to the gym, you're going to see everybody exactly. working on this plane. So we all always are in this plane. So yep. now we're going to do that same motion, but then we're going to take it to the side to side plane, which is the frontal plane, yep. which always did, never made sense to me, but I know. <laughs> all right. So just calculate how far you need to stand. And now you're going to do a side lunge and yeah, push off. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter which side we're doing both all sides. Right. So do. And then from here, even you can add some balance to this exercise ah. right here. There you go. So think about it. You need balance and so this is kind of a dynamic balance exercise, not just holding the balance. You got to push off, then you got to learn to balance and talk at the same time. It's hard yeah. to do it. Great. <laughs> All right, so here's job. one of my favorites. <laughs> and you're going to go ahead and just stay here, put your hands behind your back like you're a speed skater. And then you're just going to make a little, this a little deeper right here. Oh, this feels great right. on the inner thighs. So the inner thighs, exactly. Yes. Right. And then you can even add a little stretch here. So lift your toes. Flex your foot a lot, and then you're just adding a little inner thigh and groin, groin stretch right there, hip oh. right there. Great. And then pop up, and then you're just going to go to the other side because you want to be equal. So yes. starting with that little side motion here, and then you can add balance. the balance right here. So great lower body exercises right here. Nice. One more. And then you're doing that little slide side to side. So in my cardio golf class, I try to mix it up, have a little routine so that it's kind of fun. We're not just doing one boring exercise after the other. We have a little routine. So then go ahead and lift those toes and really get into it. If you can, really feel it. you can kind of go for your toes and stretch out right there. Great. All right. So one more for the lower body. So you're, this time you're going to stand here. All right. So again, feel how the curvature yeah. kind of makes you. And now put your hands on your hips. We're going to do a little curtsy lunge. So take the opposite leg behind you, step up and then come this way. So this is more challenging than on a flat surface. Certainly is. Because you got to step <laughs> up more. Good. So now we're incorporating a little bit of a lower body twist as our upper body stays steady. And it's good to practice those separation exercises for golf. Absolutely. Great. And nice. every lady is going to love this exercise. Yeah, absolutely. The outer thigh. All right, so those were um, lower body exercises. Now let me show you a couple of upper body exercises. Okay. So just um, get your shorty club out of the way just so that you don't step on it. Okay. And this slope has handles. So this weighs approximately eight pounds. So it's a good medium to heavy weight for some people. Yeah. Then flip it around like this. You're going to get into a nice wide squat and we're going to start with some bicep curls right here. Okay. Like there. Okay. So a couple of things here. First of all, you got to get a wide step so you can get that slope down. Absolutely. And then we're doing the front of the arms and um, this is great for your grip strength, core strength, shoulder strength. All right. From here, we'll do a set of triceps so you can put one fo foot forward and then take this behind you. And now we're doing the back of the arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel so, it. Triceps right here. Great. All right. Then from here, you can go ahead and get into like more of a 
a squat right here, and then we can do shoulders. Shoulders okay. right here. Yep. Feeling nice. Like it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> Good. From here, we can do a little twist. Now we're turning the upper body separately from the lower body. Okay. Right there, core exercises. Yes. So if you don't have a lot of room in your house, you can get a slope. You can use it as a cardio machine. Definitely. Uh, a lower body weight machine and also upper body too. All right. Very and then nice. My last one here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yep, one more. Uh, some side flexion. Okay. This time we're doing a little bit more strength for the obliques. Oh, good. So the, the slope has some weight, so that gravity kind of takes you down a little bit deeper. Great. Yeah. And then just so that we're not lopsided, just do a few on this yep. side right here. Good. So this- I feel it. Yeah. So hundreds of exercises. And here's a little plug for my cardio golf, if you don't mind. <laughs> not at all. I Go have a it. cardio golf subscription and you can do a free trial. And I have workouts um, to help you build endurance, strength, mobility, and that's all specific for golf.